out the hat clip thing that I 3D printed. You can see myself in the mirror, hopefully. Not too bad, but. conversations on the way there and back just enjoy the car enjoy the road absolutely last time we were up here again that's a story we might tell in the future who knows but um no it was an absolute blast we got a couple beers in us first and then and then we might <laughs> maybe <laughs> that might is very capitalized underscored underlined about 50 times oh yeah Nice little drive on the way to Ortega. Come see us in person and ask about Ortega. And then that that's okay. That's actually a way better idea, honestly. <laughs> that's a way better idea. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully um, you guys will catch us out more on some of uh, Hear the story, get 10% off, something like that. Mention the story, get 10% off. At a, whenever we have a booth set up. We're trying to get there, we're trying to get there. Maybe we'll make some of these hats more. But, um, yeah, enjoying this nice drive. We're gonna go up to that there mountain. Ooh. Starting to enter Ortega on the way up, nice and chill. Pretty highly trafficked today, so definitely gonna take it easy. Yo, that Prius is moving. Oh, in the front of us? <laughs> oh, dang, it is. I think it was like right in front of us. That was gone. around you um, but you know in your periphery 
before drifting, I think I've, I've mentioned it before, I was into canyon driving for a few years and then in the canyons where I learned about drifting and you know, meeting different people. So to me, being in the canyons and just driving always brings me back to my roots about what made me fall in love with driving in cars and then you know, obviously little by little modifying cars. So being here definitely always feels like home. It's almost grounding in a way, you know? Like don't get me wrong, like I have, drifting is my ultimate passion besides just regular driving. I do want to do more autocross time of track if possible. But uh, just being in the canyon just gives me a nice little reset. Yeah. You know? It makes me fall in love with being behind the wheel, it makes me fall in love with my car again and uh, I just love it. Mm -hmm. oh, you know, yeah. I don't know if you guys love get that feeling too, or are we, are we just two crazy, <laughs> two crazy idiots? Which I'm completely fine with it, <laughs> especially again referring to that Ortega story. Like, just thinking about how many people could or have done anything like that, and it's just like, God, you know, I, I think we're. I don't. I don't think there's too many crazy people that would that would do that, and. And the best part is this is done being done around the world, you know, oh, not yeah. just the United States. Like it's everywhere. If there is a canyon, if there is a road, us humans will find a way to drive as fast as possible yeah. through it. <laughs> Exhilarating is bilingual. You know, it's it's universal. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter where you are. Exhilarating is exhilarating. It's the noises, the smell, that feeling. Like I know. I still get that feeling when drifting or even canyon driving. When I know we're about to just drive the heck out of our cars, adrenaline kicks in, but I always get like, my foot starts to shake. My foot starts to shake, I get a little scared and I know like, okay, if I let off the accelerator, this feeling will go away and I won't be as scared. But everything in me just goes, well, if you put your foot all the way down, it won't be able to shake anymore, so just drive faster. And that's literally what I do and my foot just wants to shake because I'm legitimately nervous I'm legitimately scared but I push myself because that's when I will learn my limits and then I think I find my limit and you're like no you can go faster or no you can upgrade this part and guess what you can take this corner differently you can slide longer you know there's so many things you can do just by changing one little thing it just it's fun oh, yeah. you right. know like you change one thing and then you got to relearn your car all over again right. Right. I've always been an adrenaline junkie so feeling that oh shit you know it it gets the blood flow you know flowing and you know i i guess in a way i am scared but like i thrive off of that at the same time yes so you know and honestly that has saved my life more than anything else is being that a general and junkie so when something happens you know i'm not oh my god you know freaking out and that's what saved my life is being calm and you know what like oh fuck i could die but you know what i'm gonna do this and oh hey you know it worked um <laughs> and I, I can't tell oh, you hey, it worked out <laughs> right how many times that i've thought like in the background you know after the fact of god you know if i was if i had done just a little bit of a movement in my hands or whatever like i probably wouldn't be talking right now yeah. and I, there's something profoundly um probably sick about getting an enjoyment out of that but you know to each their own i guess you know yeah well josh is just driving the canyons right now i'm gonna throw a little plug in but um you know we're definitely we're, we're trying to help this channel grow we're trying to make this channel grow we're trying to make whatever possible to help you guys out in any way by, by the content we give you so if you guys can help us out in any way possible by either subscribing, liking, commenting, you can even comment, you know, what canyon is by you or what canyon you like to drive or you would like to drive, you know, that'd be pretty cool to kind of find out how many different canyons there are around there, different names, Absolutely. locations, that'd be kind of cool to see. So in the comments, let us know about that and, uh, you know, help us grow. You don't even have to buy merch. We're still working on the whole merch situation to give you guys more quality merch and more options as well. Teaming up with different companies. So um, be on the lookout for that. Follow us on our social medias. Any kind of support helps guys. And we truly appreciate it again. Like it's only, it's only Josh and I right now running like everything and it's pretty tough. I know he's dedicating a lot and pushing himself because he 
knew nothing about cars and after he got out of the military he decided to go to UTI to get any kind of information he can out of it and it was a bit rough because he had to go in through COVID times yeah. so a lot of hands-on portions were cut off sadly <laughs> but um, I can honestly be a good uh, advocate to saying I know UTI sometimes has a bad stigma but this is a very completely different Josh I'm talking to now um, when I ask him about certain things or I just hear him say certain car terminology I'm like ah it's amazing understanding shit <laughs> <laughs> like like my favorite things you get excited talking about differentials like you finally oh, yeah. understand how differentials work or you're like he just ironing like you know when I get a standalone I'm like how do you know about standalones now like he literally knew nothing about cars okay he didn't know like nothing nothing but like he knew how to drive them he knew like almost honestly the very basics that any, any person should possibly know about a car but his level of I guess almost aftermarket support or just how cars work internally has more than quadrupled over the last few months and it's pretty it's been pretty badass just having conversations with him as he finishes a module as he finishes the class moves on to the next and I just pick his brain to see you know what, what he's absorbed in it's it's been pretty badass seeing seeing this guy just come up and his knowledge is beyond the roof, especially since he's gonna be in charge of the Z. Cause all I'm gonna do is just drive it. This guy's gonna be in charge of pretty much building it and making sure it doesn't blow up while I'm in it. So no pressure. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I, I do appreciate it. And you know, I felt like because I didn't know everything that Kennedy know, you know, knew, um, you know, I felt like I didn't really have anything to bring to the table, you know, other than you know, my motivation to help out and, you know, grow everything drift geek, you know, so that was my driving, my motivation behind going to school. And um, it really helped me um, absorb as much as I can. And, uh, you know, there's still a lot that I don't know, but, um, yeah, it, it's just simple as watching some videos on YouTube and being like, oh, yeah, I know what he's talking about. Whereas <laughs> before, it was just like, fuck a vinyl, you know, that's Russian for all I know, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, I, I absolutely love it. And uh, I only wish that it wasn't fucking three hours and online at the same time. It, everything was just so condensed and rushed that it was... Yeah, it was kind of unfortunate, especially the few classes that I was looking forward to were really just push them through, you know, and it, the last couple of months I was just ready to get the fuck out of there. But you got out of there. You got out of there, yeah. You got graduated, now you're going to start working at a dealership, dip your feet in more, now put into practice everything you've absorbed and learned. You're going to learn a lot more there. Definitely utilizing all that information you got in there and, uh, yeah. Exciting because uh, we're gonna document more. Obviously, we're gonna do more content, so you guys are gonna be able to see this guy's brain and head get a lot bigger. Oh my God. As if it wasn't big enough, I already right. had that big old <laughs> coconut. <of my> head. <laughs>